So a few months ago, one of the very best players in the world decided to switch out of Mizuno irons into these. So I'm talking about serial major winner Brooks Kepka and the ZX7s from Shrixen. Now, the reason that I find this particularly interesting is Brooks is contract free as far as clubs go. So in other words, what he puts into his bag is purely based on what he thinks is the best clubs in the world for his game. But also, he took out Mizuno irons. Mizuno irons, the best irons in the world, IMO. And what we're going to be doing in this video is playing nine holes around Reddish Vale, irons only course vlog. So stay tuned to the end to see what we shoot. Also going to be testing these irons out in the studio, getting the data and getting to the bottom of why Brooks might have stuck these in the bag. It is just gone seven o'clock in the morning, a beautiful morning here. Summer has arrived. The maximum iron I've got in the ZX7s is a five, but I've also got the Strix and driving iron as well. Excuse me, Mr. Truck. Excuse me. And this is not a five iron hole. <laughs> this is into wind 400 yards oh wish me luck oh look at that i played in a comp yesterday and that's the uh that's the best struck iron that i've hit in two days you know what kids ignore whatever i say about having a warm-up you just need to have an oiled athletic physique like me i almost just spat <laughs> my mouth, I sort of opened my mouth a little bit. <laughs> 185 yards to the front, so it's another five iron. Actually into wind here, but downhill. So Brooks switched out of the Mizuno 919 Tours. I've got an NS Pro shaft in here, 130 grams, and as mentioned, five to pitching wedge. And I'm looking at this iron and I'm thinking, so what is so special about this that Brooks would switch out of a Mizuno? And to be honest, on the face of it, not a lot. All right, can this reach? A low stinging draw to begin the day. <laughs> wow. I mean, a, a raking snap hook. Ugh. Actually, wow. it's just on the path to the left of the green, so it's going to be a chip. Listen, there's nothing to do with the eye in there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you get at 7 o'clock in the morning. Wow, that was a truly awful golf shot. I've remembered being putter today, folks. Not sure if that's going to be a help or a hindrance. Oh, how nice are these rolling? Oh, under hit, but that was beautiful. It's fine. If you've uh, seen previous vlogs, you know, and from your experience, any round that starts with a bogey is guaranteed to be under par by the end. Facts, 141 yards. Car keys in my pocket. It's got a straight downwind, so we're going to hit a wedge. These irons are a muscle back design. It is a multi piece construction, but the way that it's been designed, it actually looks like it's just one seamless bit of metal. There's also some progressive grooves in here. So the higher lofted irons have sharper, more spinny grooves. It also doesn't want to be pushed right like that. Don't go in the bunker. Whew. Oh, wow. Wow, it's huge. It's massive. That's gigantic, actually. Well, this is definitely not an eight iron. <laughs> but hey-ho. Oh, these greens looking great. Oh, I'll tell you what. I have to say, Reddish Vale. These are the best greens I've seen this year so far. Mm. Mm. Well, actually, the best greens so far have been at West Lanks, but I almost expect them to be that good at West Lanks. At Parkland course, these are beautiful at the moment. Unbelievable. Solid, eh? Solid. Let me know in the comments as well what you think about Shrix and golf clubs in general. They're a brand which I've not really done a lot with before this year. They've obviously been around a long time, but it feels almost to me like a new brand just because I'm not testing them. It's great, it is interesting. Now this is not in Brooks's bag and I'm not sure why it's not in the bag of every single golfer on the planet. This is a Shrixen ZX driving iron, which as you may be able to tell, I quite like. I'm allowed to use this. How many times am I allowed to use this? This hole, then the par five. Those are only two, aren't they? Yeah. Two tee shots. I've done a video already using Hideki Matsuyama Shrixen blades. I'll leave the link here and you'll understand the rules of an iron vlog a bit better. <laughs> Does need a low stinger on this one. Ball position. Just forward to centre, weight forward, keep the pressure left, the hands finishing low and left as well. I 
won't say it's a stinger, that's just a decent shot. <laughs> it's gone a long way, that, into that wind. read two over Blech. so you can actually see here in the five iron this little thing on the toe that's the tungsten weight so on the seven iron the six iron the five iron and the four iron if i had it that tungsten toe weight just gives a little bit more weight to the outside of the club and if you put weight to the perimeter of a golf club that will increase moi moment of inertia is basically forgiveness so you've got a muscle back design with just that added bit of forgiveness i love this vt sole i'll try and get a close-up of it here it's basically almost like an accentuated bounce angle on irons so even if you do hit slightly behind the ball it skids a bit more into impact and the divots that I take with these irons and then the Shrixen blades, they're just so much more shallow and I don't dig as much and at the moment with my wrist. That is, it's really good. <laughs> oh, be good. Oh, it's just drifting a touch. It's decent though. Pin eye right. By the way, early mornings in the summer, it's just so good. Bounce back. Right, so we'll tee off here, just a five iron into the fairway, then a little wedge uh, onto the green. But I'll hit this tee shot and then head into the studio, get some of the data on these clubs. Five iron at the conservatory. I tell you what, Almost killed the pigeon. I'm really enjoying these. Really, really enjoying them. Let's go back to shooting. So for me, creating an amazing iron, it's not about revolutionizing design. It's just about getting the right things in the right place at the right time. So for example, these irons do look quite elegant behind the ball. You know, they look simple, they look effective. They fly down towards the target quite well. The top edge of these clubs has a little bit of extra thickness than what I would personally like to see in a bladed club. But of course, these clubs do hide a little bit more mass underneath that top edge. You know, this isn't a pure blade. It does offer that little bit more forgiveness. And at the end of the day, they look good. I don't know why my voice went so high. So the weight has been repositioned around this club head, which does offer that little bit more forgiveness. So on the off center strikes like that one, which was tiny bit off the toe, it still does give really good distance control. And with that little bit more mass, which is positioned behind the sweet spot, can also control trajectory quite well. So they feel good. So let's have a look at some of the results. So what I've done is I've hit five shots with the pitching wedge, five shots with the seven iron, five shots with the five iron. Now this is just a very quick snapshot of the comparison on the Foresight software. And of course I'm using the GC Quad. Now just have a look at the peak heights of those three clubs, exceptionally consistent. I do like to see that. Ball speeds increasing as you would expect, launch angles decreasing as you'd expect as the lofts get lower. Also the backspin decreasing as well. That five iron was a real kind of rocket when it took off. But these averages 
mask something. Now let me show you. So let's have a little bit of a look at the data from the pitching wedge first of all. We're striking it really well. Now the carry distance there, 136, 138, 138, 139, 137, where they were pitching exceptionally consistent as well. Now I was offline 1.8 yards, 2.8 yards, 2.9 yards, 1.5 yards, 1.9. So with that wedge, I was finding my target really well. Very, very happy with what was going on there. And then the seven iron and the five iron. Well, I was hitting the ball very poorly. Just come back from a weekend away with the family and boy, whew, my body took some punishment. But the most surprising thing for me is on the seven irons and the five irons, which I was striking very poorly, the consistency in the flight and where they were landing around the green, that really surprised me. I knew that these irons were gonna be a little bit more forgiving from what Strixen has said, and obviously compared to the blades that I tested recently. But I was surprised that just how forgiving they were. So with the rubbish swings that I was putting on them, I mean, they perform very well. But let's get back to the course and see what we can shoot around this nine hole. So I think for me at the moment, the biggest difference between the studio and here is just what is going on with this sole. The way that it strikes the turf, it's a good iron generally. I am impressed, but that just makes it another level. Currently two over, two holes to go. Let's see what we can get. I'm just gonna hit a five here. That one done. Travel, travel, push it, win, push it, win, push it, win, push it, win, push it, go, 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 go. Wow. I should have shut up. It's a good shot, that. Just <laughs> come have a look at this. This is what I'm on about, and I know it's boring if I keep like banging on about the sole of a golf club, but just look at the depth of that divot there. You kind of see how it's entered and it's just nice and shallow. You know, I'm not taking massive chunks out. That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Probably one of the big advantages of those irons as well. I found this in the studio a bit here. I didn't strike that great. It was like a little bit healy, but it managed to cover the distance really well. Ah, knew it was gonna go that way. Oh, that was a good birdie chance that as well. Put a couple today. Side note, need to get a bit more, a bit more aggressive with me puts on. Trying to drop everything in at the moment. So last hole, ready to tie the tricks and blades from the last iron only vlog. Can it be done? Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. It's about 135, but Bushnell is seven uphill and it's playing about 150, something like that. It's playing 151. Into wind, but the flag's quite still. Thinking an eight iron. You don't want to go through the back of this green either. It's out of bounds. Almost feel like a draw. Oh. Stay, hold, hold, hold. Yeah, it's okay. It was a draw though, wasn't it? Yeah. You see that? I didn't get a shot trace or no one's gonna believe me. It drew. I, I solemnly swear, it drew. I'll tell you what, I've uh, like literally no touch. We're pitching my chip and runs around the green. It's awful. This kind of game, if you wanna look at it like that, where you play irons only or where well, you take your wedges out of your bag, stuff like that. It is good because it does get you playing different shots and actually using your imagination a little bit more. Right, nice and positive here. Bit better, isn't it? Bit of a, bit more of a whack. Okay, let's have a round up of these irons. So to summarize the ZX7s, what do we think? So you already know how I feel about the sole. It's got a beautiful 
sole. It's also got a few hidden bits of tech, like the tungsten way in the toe. It's also got a little bit more mass concentrated behind the sweet spot. The overall look of the iron, I'm not 100% there with, but it's definitely something I could get used to. I think it's just that top line, just maybe a little bit thicker than I'd like to see. But if you're, say, a mid to low handicap and you're looking for a muscle back, these are a great choice. And again, it's just a very good iron from a company which really before this year, I didn't know a great deal about. And I get the feeling from comments and forums that Shrixen, they're becoming that, I'm not gonna say plucky underdog because that's not giving Shrixen enough credit, but that iron, that club, that slightly unexpected position in the marketplace of having an alternative to, say, a Mizuno or a Titleist blade. So get down into those comments below. Let me know what you think about these irons. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.